All right, Joel, do the intro. Go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right, there you go. That's the intro. Um, welcome to today's video. We're going to be tier listing all 23 MCU films. So we've got categories. We've got iconic. We've got double decent. We've got decent. We've got okay. And we've got bin. I'm here with Nathan and Joel. Say hello. Yeah. Afternoon. Right, there you go. And... Yeah, I guess before we continue, spoiler warning. We're gonna, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you've not seen them, you should probably go watch them and then come back. Grow up a bit. Yeah, just, just what are you doing? Why are you watching the video? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> come on. <laughs> the first one we've got is, is that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? So decent. I would say double decent. is. I would say it's between decent and okay for me, so... Well, I'd say the first one's definitely better. Yeah. Oh, Miles better. But I kind of like the stuff that they do in this one with like Yondu and. Uh, no, no, no. The Yondu stuff is amazing. But yeah. The, the actual bad guy, like Ego, the Living Planet, that stuff's just yeah. a bit boring. I didn't really like it at all. Uh, but no, I think, yeah, the storyline with Yondu, Rocket, and Groot is definitely more interesting than the other the one. The scene. The scene yeah. where Yondu takes out the entire ship with his own little <laughs> Yeah, arrow, that's, that yeah. kind of makes it. But makes Ego really is not the best villain. The they ending Mantis, is... who's a bit annoying, but still. Yeah, he's a decent character. I think, like, they obviously, Baby Groot is quite good. It works mm -hmm. for one, yeah. film, I think. And I like yeah. the bit of the yeah. spot where they're fighting the big monster. Um, yeah, that's Groot's, like, dancing about. So I would say this would probably so, go in decent. Yeah, I'd go decent. Yeah. All right. Next, we have Ant-Man. So, the first Ant-Man. I really liked first Ant-Man. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. good as well. It's definitely not top tier. No. It's kind of like a different MCU it, film to what they'd done before. It's kind it's, of a bit more low-key, wasn't it? It surprised yeah. everyone as well, because everyone thought it was going to be, like, awful. Yeah. And actually, a lot of people really mm. liked it, so... Obviously, Paul Rudd is... Very good. He's a worldwide hero. The only thing I would say is the actual, like, <laughs> the actual villain isn't the best. Yeah, it's like... like no, like, it's sort of a fight scene at the end. of Iron Man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The fight scene at the end where they're on the Thomas the Ta Tank Engine little play set <laughs> that, and they're that tiny. That's it's cool, but the villain like is really boring. So I'd say it's double decent. Yeah, Joel, double decent. Yeah, I agree. All right, okay. Next, we've got Avengers: Age of Ultron. Controversial on that. Yeah. So obviously. It's not as good as the first Avengers film, is no. it? Right? It's not top tier. It's very hard to be as good as the first Avengers film. Though. Yeah, I think like the action's pretty cool. I like the, the, very good. the introduction of Quicksilver and although he, Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver gets destroyed very quickly. Yeah, Quicksilver is, yeah. gets. Well, it's because he's he wasn't allowed to be Quicksilver. Yeah, yeah he's not as a variety of issues. I mean, the X Men Quicksilver is so good. That this one just doesn't look anywhere near as good as yeah. So in the X Men films, they do like the thing of slowing everything down around him, and then you get those cool yeah things. the cool like music. They did that a little bit, but not much. The, there's the bit where he like rescues people off the train, isn't it? Where he like runs through. Yeah, yeah. And there's the bit in the big ship where Claw is. Yeah, another good thing about this, it's got Claw in and it's Andy Circus. So and uh, it's a bit weird. Ultron as a villain. I mean, he's just a sarcastic robot. It's a bit strange, but uh, I like him at the start when they introduce him. I think maybe, I mean, to be honest, I think between double decent and decent. Yeah, definitely. I think it's better than Guardian um, 2, but... Worse than Ant-Man. I'd yeah. say double decent, probably. Yeah, but double decent. Is this just the Avengers? Avengers, it's got to be yeah, like on it. We're yeah, putting that straight up is. there. <laughs> kind of started it all, didn't it? When I saw that as a kid, or however old I was, I... Yeah, best film I've ever seen. Loki is a good villain. I like Loki. Yeah, Nick Fury. Tom Hiddleston is amazing. Nick Fury, great character. They kind of just made it all bigger than it was before. Like they had the massive Hella carrier and all of that stuff going on. Together, brought in yeah. Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk, changed the actor. But yeah, I like Mark much Ruffalo. better. Mark Ruffalo is better. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think it works. So I think that's pretty easily going in iconic. Right, Ant Man and the Wasp next. Definitely worse than Ant Man. Yeah, I think it is worse than Ant Man. I still quite liked it. I thought it was quite like a fun film. I didn't. Yeah, it was a fun film. It had good action scenes and it had like a lot of comedy in it. But I think I it, again, I thought the villain was kind of rubbish. I didn't like the enemy, like the ghost or whatever they were called. Yeah, and like, she ended up coming good, and they had to like help her or something. I, I... And then they went to the quantum realm, didn't they? 
Yeah, and they got yeah, Johnny Van Dyme out, didn't they? Yeah, there was a bit at the end where he turns massive in the ocean. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the sure. bit where he's um, like skateboarding down. Skateboarding, the yeah, on the truck. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. It's got some cool scenes in it. Uh, uh, I like the wasp then bringing her in. She's got wings, so it just makes the action a bit different, doesn't it? I'd say so, it's decent. I'd say it's decent. I wouldn't put it above Guardians 2. Is there... no, I wouldn't either. No, I wouldn't. All right. Black Panther up next. I reckon Black Panther has to go an iconic. I think it is. I agree. It's the definition of iconic. I mean, it might not be the best film of these. But I don't think it's as it's good iconic. as iconic. And it's just, it's just pretty cool, isn't it? The, like the character. He's, yeah, he's, I like Killmonger. I think he's quite Killmonger's good. good. Claws in it again. So good The film. soundtrack is pretty sick, to be honest. Very good, yeah. Love the soundtrack. Uh, yeah, yeah, Claw is just a funny man, isn't he? I like the... Um, I quite like that some of the action. I like the thing where is are they in South Korea, uh, quite near the start that fight, where like is it, it's Japan or is it South Japan? Korea or something? Yeah, I'm not too Japan, sure. I don't know. Akoye is like killing you know, everyone. Uh, I think I some one problem I found is I thought it was quite cringy in bits when they did like what are those and stuff. I was like, uh, oh yeah, like Shuri. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shuri's yeah. pretty cringy head. I like um, what's his name? Um, um Umbaku is that his name? The 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 guy from the the like mountain tribe yeah yeah he's good he's good yeah he's he's, he's quite funny he's got some good one liners in there uh, yeah. it Martin, was... Martin Freeman's good as well love Martin Freeman yeah love Martin Freeman it was a little bit predictable I'd say maybe when like obviously he di- like he didn't die when he got thrown off the cliff he was still alive and he was going to come back and overthrow him and it was yeah but yeah still a good none of these films are winning Oscars for no, no. They're storylines. <laughs> Captain America, First Avenger. It's hard because I like Red Skull. I think Red Skull is pretty cool, but it's, yeah. uh, it's a bit, it's a bit forgettable. Maybe it's, it's got where, the bit where he gets created. That's all pretty cool. Where he's like yeah, a small right, kid. But, but they've like shrunk him down with CGI. That that's yeah. very well done. Even now, it's yeah. well done. And then they super serum him, and he becomes. That's pretty good. Uh, but then they have all the stuff where he's in the army. And he's getting like yeah, and yeah I think like it goes on for a bit long I don't know um, I think maybe want to put decent. it decent maybe in between these two in yeah yeah and the wasp I'd say that's I'd say yeah. Two. yeah right Captain America Civil War is up next now this is one of my favourite favourite ones my yeah I very much like this um I think it's pretty cool what they do with Zemo. It's a bit of a different villain. Kind of really Iron Man's the villain of the film and Zemo's just like a side yeah. villain. Yeah, so, Well, Iron Man or Captain America's the villain, depending yeah, on, the, yeah, depending on what side. perspective Although you, it's side you choose. From. It is definitely pitched to make you choose Captain America's side, which... But nobody does because everyone prefers Iron Man because Captain America's boring. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Captain America's pretty cool. <laughs> no, Iron Man's better than Captain America. That's not even a question. No, we can get yeah, but it still made me want Captain America to win. I wanted Captain America. In Tony. Uh, Black Panther's introduced. That's pretty cool. Obviously, that, yeah, that yes. big old airport fight, which is Winter Soldier. Cool. That's amazing. A lot. They've got Spider-Man got introduced as well. Yeah, oh, Spider-Man. Yes. Great. Yeah, yeah Spider-Man yeah. in the MCU. Tom Holland's good actor. That all works. Ant-Man and, goes giant. That's a good scene in the airport. Yeah, yeah. the only thing I'd say is I feel like they kind of... You know the whole thing of... Um, war machine uh being like shot down and then like breaking his back but he's still alive somehow i feel like if they'd have killed war machine there it would have like made the stakes real of the film yeah like the fact that he hated he hated um him a lot more hated them a lot more yeah i think it would have made iron man like you could have pushed him further if his best friends just died also i hate war machine as a character he's so annoying so if we could anyway I think it's an iconic. I yeah. don't think I'd it's. I'd say so. I'd say, I'd say it's, it's there in between events. I don't know. I'd say it's worse than. You'd Black say it's Panther. worse than Black Panther. Joel, what's your vote? I'm saying better. I'd probably put it above. Right, we're putting yeah. it above. Right. Sorry, Nathan. Yeah, in the middle. That's right. right. <laughs> Captain Marvel, let me start this off easily. There we go. No, uh, it's not in the bin. It's not that bad. Oh, I'd it... say it's okay. All right, all right, all right. It's not a great film. But... I mean, it's not as bad as people made it out. When I saw all the reviews and I thought this is, everyone's saying it's like the worst film ever and it's just like, 
I thought it was very predictable that obviously um, me being a nerd, I'm used to the scrolls being the bad guys and the Kree being the good guys. But uh, it was quite obvious that from the start that the Kree were the bad guys and they'd like brainwashed her. I didn't see the scrolls necessarily being good, which they flipped because they like they cast Ben Mendelssohn as ta- what's his name, ta- Talos, Talos. I don't know. And he yeah. normally plays villains, so I think he maybe, does. Yeah, it's a bit of a. I think yeah, it was a good film though. I like it, it, yeah, it was predictable and some of the CGI times. was a bit dodgy at times yeah. as well. I thought but it's definitely not awful. Like some of the bits, like the old stuff when they're in like the eighties or whenever it's based, is pretty. Also, cold. they lack some consistency yeah. with whether she can breathe in space or not. Because why? Is yeah, she some of her powers are just they just sometimes go, oh, yeah, she can. She could do everything. Is her power, and it just kind yeah. of <laughs> she's a bit too OP, which just kind of I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't feel as real. Mm-hmm. Right. Anywho, yeah, we're gonna we'll keep that in okay, I guess. Thor the Dark World, that's been Thor the Dark World <laughs> is oh, easily the worst. It's film. Not a great film at all. It's just like, quite, uh, it's just quite boring, isn't it? To be honest, I literally don't remember. I remember like two things about the film. I watched it two weeks ago, and I don't remember what happened. <laughs> I remember the scene where they're putting the big markers down to like teleport stuff. Still, don't really remember what happens. And then there's obviously there's Christopher Eccleston in it as the bad guy, but you can't really tell it's him. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't realise it was him until I watched something afterwards on YouTube. Yeah, he's he, the the villains are t- dreadful. Even he he hated it in an interview. He was like, it was literally the worst film I've ever been a part of. Like, I never want to do a superhero film again. The Dark Elves thing was basically they want to destroy everything because they're bad. Like they didn't bother yeah, to go. Yeah, no motivation for it really. Um. Any, uh, I'll tell you what, like Jane and what's her friend Darcy and all of that. So, yeah, I don't, uh, I d- don't, don't, yeah. I, the intern was, was all right, he was funny at points. I but he don't, got even, irritating. Don't, even, I don't even know who you're talking like, about. <laughs> yeah, I can't actually remember this film because it's so boring, right? Yeah, Doctor Strange, it's got to be top two. One of the top two. It's I be think top I really second. like Doctor Strange. I love Doctor Strange. Personally, for me, I'd say it's second, like behind Avengers. I'd say it's definitely the best standalone one, like that doesn't have any other Avengers in. But okay. I don't know if it's better, better than, than Civil Panther, War. Then. Yeah. Right, I don't so know if it's better than Civil War, though. Should we put it in here above Black Panther and behind Civil War? Yeah, go on then. Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, he's literally perfect for the, for the role yeah, he, he actually is him uh I, I i really like him they do the magic all, stuff's just good yeah the cool stuff of like when they're they're fighting and like they're warping reality around them as they're, they're running on bending yeah things and things the scene yeah. in new york makes got my Matt, mind hurt it's got Matt Nicholson <laughs> yeah a, i think the bad guy i, I liked like. the whole dormammu thing at the end as well it's like a unique way yeah. to finish it off yeah iconic it's that end game yes it is yes, avengers it is. end game it's got to be the best one we've had i so mean far. arguably right, the best go. film end game brought it all together and was kind of the perfect finale that everyone wanted there's obviously some very good moments in it like where the captain america gets mule near whether you yes know, that's one of the best scenes in the film yeah i don't know about the whole thing of they literally managed to save the whole world because a rat let Ant Man out the quantum realm. It's quite um, convenient. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, things have to fall in place for. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, rats are pretty powerful. So, uh, yeah, it's, to be fair, we don't really need to say much about it, do we? It's probably between this and Infinity War. I don't know which one you say is better, but they're the. the I know which top. one I think is the best, but we'll, we'll get on to that. Okay. Thor Ragnarok. I mean, it's going in iconic for me. It's going in iconic, yeah. I would actually put it second. I'd, I'd put it third. It. Joel? Well, Joel said I Doctor mean, Strange was the best standalone. Yeah. I, 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 it's so weird, and I'm, I'm still not sure if I like it. Right, me and Nathan are overruling you, Joel, and <laughs> uh, uh, in iconic. It's, it's, it's funny. Thor and Hulk. Thor and Hulk are two of the best characters, and they're against each other. And, and then Chris Hemsworth just does the whole yeah. being he weird sort of, funny thing really well, to be honest. And yeah, he just sort of reinvents it. Thor because Thor before was this sort of like really annoying character at times. He was always like serious and a bit stupid. Yeah, serious. And now he's like funny. 
I, think, I mean, it has got Corgan, who is the best Korg. character in the yeah. MCU. Yeah. And Hulk can talk more and it's funny. And Valkyrie comes in and you've got, the, you've got Jeff Goldblum as the... Yeah, the grandma. Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Yeah. So, yeah, all in all, it's just a good film, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Good, Very funny, good. good. Right, Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. I mean, I want to put this in iconic as well. I don't know about you. I would say second. I would actually agree, Joel. It's, it's like my favourite one, other than yeah. the good ones we're yeah. all together. I just, it's just a good film, isn't it? It was something different at the time. They've got Chris Pratt, like yeah. unknown, unknown characters as well for most people. But like nobody knows random. who the Guns of the Galaxy are. Like really one of them's a tree massive. for God's sake. They got a talking. They've raccoon. got a raccoon and a tree. That's <laughs> yeah. like how I care about them. And a guy. <laughs> Who listens to a Walkman just whilst shooting people? Like, yeah, the way that quite, the music's incorporated is so good. Brilliant. Yeah, Yondu, great character. Cool. I like the prison break scene as well. I think that's pretty cool. Just all in me. all, it's just it's just sick, isn't it? Like it's a good film. Yeah. Right next, we've got the Incredible Hulk. Uh, so somebody who can remember this film, you can. Uh, I can remember it very well. I've seen it many times. I I don't know. It's between okay and bin, I would say. Yeah. It's one of the worst ones. I don't I've, think it's bin. I say it's okay. From what I can remember, it's got two well massive things at the end fighting. Edward um, Norton. Abomination and Hulk, Edward Norton's yeah. a very good actor. I think I prefer Mark Ruffalo, but he's still very good. I think he does it very well, it's pretty believable. All the stuff at the start when he's in like the favelas in Brazil, I think it is. That's pretty good. I would say it's probably not as good as Captain Marvel. No, it's, it's not. No, it's not. Iron Man 3. I would maybe put that in decent. Yeah. It's not great, is it? No. But the action's pretty cool. I like the whole thing of the suit that like comes to him. Yeah, well, the bit at the end yeah. where he brings all the suits in, that's probably yeah, the that's, most memorable that's bit of the film. And there's a bit with the Mandarin when he's like just some guy. He's an actor. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually that, mind that. I thought that, I, yeah, I thought that I was think, good. That was I haven't read any of the comics, so I that that made perfect sense to me. The whole villain, I didn't really. The villain boring when he yeah, yeah. was like the guy who like Tony Stark rejected the nerd. Yeah, left on a rooftop. He became cool and he liked Pepper. They destroyed his house, which was a pretty cool scene. Uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I would say it's decent. Where I would, would maybe put it in decent, maybe second behind Guardians two, or maybe behind First Avenger. I don't know. What do you think? I'd say behind First Avenger. Yeah, Iron Man two. A lot of people say it's not good, don't they? It's the yeah, worst Iron Man one. It's the worst Definitely. Iron Man. I agree. I think it had a, some potential, but Whiplash is like the villain. It was just a bit boring i like him the character was okay like mickey rourke i think it is who does the character he's pretty yeah. cool but a bit at the end isn't great that, i like the, the fight uh, scene him and war machine yeah, yeah. Against all the, justin the hammer justin hammer is a he's good very good very very good character yeah the, the fight with whiplash at the end is way too short yeah i don't remember it at all that's I like the Monaco bit where he's got like his suit in a suitcase. Yeah, it? when he's like it's doing the Formula case. One race and like, Whiplash comes out of nowhere and just like cuts his car in half. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty there's good. There's the suitcase with the suit in it. Yeah, but, I, I mean, I think maybe okay. Above the best of okay is what yeah. I'd say. Iron Man, the first Iron Man. It's got to be either <laughs> iconic or... Yeah, I'd say it's got to be iconic. I think it's, it's got to be iconic because it, it started everything. everything. However, yeah. I'd maybe put it bottom of iconic. Yeah. I like it. I think the scene where like he builds the suit. The in suit the... and then goes comes out of the cave. And he's got yeah. like his little Hungarian friend. I like yeah. him. I think the end fight's a bit boring. Oh, oh, the end fight against... Um... Iron Munger, Obadiah Iron Stain. Yeah. Obadiah Stain, yeah. Obadiah Stain is a hard name, to be fair. But, he's a good uh, character as well. He's quite a good character. Yeah, and I don't... Yeah. Like, tricks him. And then... I like the thing where he has, like, the little... Um, the little He puts the headphones in and, like, paralyses you with the little button. It's a lot, a lot earlier on, and obviously it just it's just not going to be as good as the newer ones, I would say. 
They also have... They have so many more characters and special effects and stuff. Yeah. The old War Machine actor. Can't remember his name. Oh, yeah, they changed um, the actor, didn't they? Yeah. I, I prefer the old one. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Oh, I like Don Cheadle. The new guy. Huh? <sighs> I don't really mind, to be honest. I just hate War Machine as a character. I think he's annoying. But that's... He's not really War Machine in this one, though, is he? He's just like... No, he's... Just... Yeah. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. That's Terrence it. Howard. I think he was very good to say it, but... Yeah. Right. Next, we've got Avengers Infinity War. It's going to be be iconic, isn't it? Yeah. For me, this is probably my favourite MCU film. It's one or two, isn't it? I think it just switches. So you're saying number one. Joe, what do you think? I'd probably say one as well. Because I went into it thinking that uh, somehow they're going to win. And then they didn't. I thought... Um, all the oh, way up it was until brilliant. the end. Like when you know when like Thor comes in in Wakanda and everything. I'm like, oh, they they they're gonna they're gonna get Thanos. It's like he'll he'll escape because he needs to come back for Endgame because it was originally going to be a part one and part two, wasn't it? But yeah. like he it he just wins and and Thanos is just a great character, great villain. The film's about him, isn't it? The, the whole side quest with, like, Thor, I don't particularly care for until he comes in at the end, which is one of the best. Oh, to go and get his film. weapon. Yeah, and they're, like, the whole thing of they had Peter Dinklage being, like, a big dwarf or something. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> that, that was very strange. And then Groot, but Groot, like, you know, the bit where he cuts his arm off to give him the handle, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. teenage Groot, honestly, I really didn't like him. Like when he was big, he was funny. When he was a baby, he was funny. When he was a teenager, he did. He had the whole like he was. Well, he was being a teenager, and it, it was kind irritating. of annoying. it was kind of annoying for a long. But I was just wanting to do something because he was one of the best characters. And then when he does that, you're like, okay, right, right. Yeah. at least he's done something. It's kind of crazy how they got so many characters and they blended it all, all the different tones together. Because like they kind of had like the Guardians bit was like Guardians tone and style, and then like the Iron Man bits were his kind of tone and style. And they blended it all together very well. Um, and yeah, uh-huh. Thanos is cool, so it goes top. It, it, when it came out, it was one of the most iconic films. Like all the stuff on it, it just became instantly. I remember sitting in the cinema as everyone's turning to dust at the end, and just being like, "Well, mad this guy." Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> right. Next, we've got. Is this one Spider-Man? Well, we've got both of Spider-Man. That's so far we'll from do, home. We'll do first Homecoming first. We'll, we'll, we'll Look, do I'd Homecoming. say Double Decent for Homecoming. I'd yeah, put Homecoming top of Double Decent. Yeah, I would as yes. well. Yes. Um, I'd say Tom Holland is, is the best Spider-Man. I'd say we've got we've Iconic. Had. Iconic's probably, that's probably as good as Iconic. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll have to argue one, which uh, okay. at the but end. But... Spider-Man, Homecoming, yeah. very good. Um, yeah, Tom Holland's villains. All right, I mean, he's not too exciting, mm. is he? It's the vulture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, pretty, it's pretty when, cool. The scene where you find out it's the girl, his like girlfriend's dad. Yeah, yeah I've, that's really good. That that caught me totally by surprise. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. And then when they're in the car and he's like slowly realizing, yeah, the, he knows yeah. the voice. And then yeah, I like yeah. Ned as well. Ned's a bit of a legend. Ned's a legend, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, we're putting that top of Double Decent because it's better than Ant-Man, isn't it? But it's not quite iconic. Yeah. Spider-Man Far From Home, I would maybe put in Double Decent as well. Yeah. And maybe well. behind the first Spider-Man. Yeah. It's yeah. still really good. And I like the whole thing of them like travelling around Europe. Yeah, the school trip thing, yeah. Yeah, I like the whole... I think Mysterio is really cool, to be honest. I think he's I like Jake, I love Jake Gyllenhaal, and like yeah, the bit where he's like, you do, you really because you know Mysterio. If you know Mysterio, you know he's like a, he's gonna do, he, he's, he tricks people and stuff. So the whole film, I was sort of like, I know he's gonna be bad, but then like as I was watching it, you were slowly thinking, oh maybe he's actually good. Yeah, you slowly think because they yeah. leave it for a while, seeming, and like you really think he guy. is. You start yeah. to believe it, even though we all know that Mysterio no, he's is not. a villain. But then at the end, you're like, oh, okay, cool. I like the thing that they do to explain his illusions with all the like little drones and they link that's, it back yeah, to, to the scientist from Iron Man 1. I think that's pretty cool. That's like, good. Yeah, that's good. I think the like relationship between him and um, M- is it MJ? Or whatever yeah. It is. yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty good. She was, she's a lot better in this film. 
She, I didn't. I thought she was just. She like, has a lot more to do in this film. Yeah, so. she was a bit weird in the. She first was a bit of like a weird emo in the first film, wasn't she? Yeah, <laughs> she, she's yeah. pretty good in this one. Original four, I Original think I'd four. probably put this in an okay. I'd yeah. say it's on the verge of okay and decent. Oh yeah, he gets sent down to Earth, doesn't he? There, he takes yeah. the hammer away. It's banished. They have uh, a yeah, like robot with like the face that unfolds and it like does the destroyer. Yeah, yeah. it's fire. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Jane and all of the humans are more bearable in this this film. Because isn't it the idea is Loki is like an adopted frost giant or something? Yeah. Right? And at the end, Loki ends up like... He drops through the wormhole. Yeah, you think he might be dead, but then he comes back in Avengers, obviously. Um, but yeah... I'd say it's better than Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I can, I can, I can back that, to be honest. It going below Iron Man 3 indecent yeah. yeah last one we've got is captain america the Win- uh, the winter soldier which i don't know you said iconic was filled this is probably just behind infinity war my favorite of the f- f- Marvel really? films. i love this film i think it's so good the action in it's so good like they've got all the hand-to-hand combat with like bucky when they have like the little knife fight where bucky's got is, and he's like metal arm with a knife and Cap's using the shield. And they got Falcon and Black Widow. I, I love it. Yeah, I think it's very good. I, I think really. introducing Falcon was, was good. I, I the way they did that was good. Definitely wouldn't put it that high. No, I wouldn't put it second. I'd I can't, I'm sorry, I can't it. see it. I can't see it being better than Doctor Strange considering I barely, re- I don't really remember that much of it. I, I put it low iconic, but... I would as well. It would seem like I'm outvoted, so... Where 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 do you guys think? I would say next to Iron Man, either side of Iron Man. I'll let, you can go yeah. above it if you want. Considering you saying it's like your second favourite, I'd say above there. Yeah. But I don't think it's better than any of those other ones. All right, we're going to have to agree to disagree because I really like it. But hey, I, we can go with that. We've got a lot in Iconic. Obviously, we like these films, so we're going to be fairly... Yeah, I've only got one I mean, on the bin. All of them are yeah, films I mean, that I'd watch. That's what I'm saying. Like, all of these film, I've seen all of these films many times or I will watch again other than Thor The Dark World. I guess that is it. We have just tier listed all 23 MCU films. Uh, so yeah. like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one whenever that is. Goodbye. See ya.